In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to convert a particularly difficult spreadsheet. I mean, if you follow the steps shown, it's actually pretty easy. Um, so first, what we're going to do is we're going to open the PDF file that we're looking at. And here it is. This is a TI document. And it's a pretty long document. It's 160 pages. So the first thing we're going to do is extract the pages that we want to work on. So the, the table starts at, the pin table starts at um, page 15, and it goes all the way down to page 47. Okay, that's the last one in the table. And then here's the footnotes, or here's a new section. So the first thing, again, that we do is we're going to hit this Edit button and we're going to use this extract and we'll, we're going to start from page 15 like we said and the last page will be 47 and we say extract and we'll save it as the, what it default uh, three of the <coughs> part name dash p15 dash p47 save and we'll say yes and we'll replace that so now what we want to do is open that one so we're going to, basically we're by extracting those pages we made the work that uh, able to extract has to do a little bit less. There's less stuff in memory um, because the the document is a lot smaller. So now let's go look at this uh, data sheet. So on page three is where the table starts. Okay, and the difficulty here is that this is a TI spreadsheet, and unfortunately they did not put a uh, column to separate the pin name from the pin number in all their pages. And as we look, the, the, the number moves between pages. So if we look at this page, the, the number is, you know, from the edge, it's maybe an inch. Down here, it's maybe, it's a little bit longer. And then if we go to some other page, it's actually shorter. And so able to extract has to figure out how to how to divide this table up. If there was a line, it would have been able to do it easily, but there's not. So when we do our extraction, what we're going to have to do is use the custom settings to, and build, a, let able to extract, find the tables, and we're going to be able to modify tables for it. So what I'm going to do is show you the steps that are required to do that.